Hi everyone, in part two of this video I'm going to talk about the tools of the trade. Some of the things out there that people like to use in order to either fix the drives that are damaged or recover them. But keep in mind, whenever you run any one of these utilities, no matter what anybody tells you, there's always a chance of, of lost data. And the reason for that is, if the data that you're looking to recover is on a part of the disk that's really damaged, there's nothing that you're going to be able to do to get that data back unless you go to a professional repair place. So if you don't want to risk it, don't try any of these things. But if it's just something that you're trying to get your pictures back or your MP3s back and you're willing to take a risk, these are the utilities that most of the professionals are using in order to try to get uh, the data recovered or the disk repaired. So the first one on the list I'm going to show you is Drive Genius. So let's go ahead and open that up and see what that's like. So Drive Genius has a lot of utilities, as you can see here. Uh, it can find duplicates. It can check your speed. It can do a defragment. And a lot of people have asked, uh, uh, is there anything out there that could defragment drives? Yeah, th this utility can do it. Um, it does cost money. This is not a free utility, but it's very well worth it because not only will it fix uh, a computer when it's damaged, it will also use this thing called Drive Pulse, which will watch the drive and detect issues before uh, it actually happens. So you don't have to really worry about, hey, is my drive in good health? This will kind of track it and let you know by a pop-up, hey, you've got to do something on your drive. Maybe it's a good idea to fix it. So let's take a look at some of these utilities. So one of the utilities in here that I wanted to show you was all of these down here. You could rebuild a directory, you can repair a disk, you can do a consistency check, you could do a physical check. So if you do a physical check, this is checking the actual hard drive to see if there's anything physically wrong with it. And if there is, at least you'll know what you're dealing with. Uh, it sometimes can repair it, sometimes it can't, but it might still be able to get the data. Using the clone tool up here will allow you to get a hard drive plugged in to wherever a computer that you need to recover, and it will clone the computer, uh, the hard drive of the damaged one to a good one, and give you back your entire drive, all your pictures, all your MP3s, as long as they're not on a damaged part of the drive, and you'll be back up and running. And that would be awesome. If you can get that done, that will work. So that's one way of recovering data and also getting it exactly the way it was to begin with. So this utility is fantastic for that, and it's worth it. You'll consistently use it. It fixes permissions. It does a whole bunch of other things. So this may be a utility that you like. Again, it's called Drive Genius. I happen to like it. And I would recommend this as one of those utilities. Drive Genius also makes something called Data Rescue. And Data Rescue and Drive Genius offer a 30 day, I believe, uh, free download, but it only resolves about two gigs. But it may be worth it. If only you're only looking to recover one or two files, it might be a great thing to try out. And I'll put a link in the video comments area uh, for the 30 day free trial so you can try out these utilities for yourself. If you double click on that, you're going to have a choice to create a bootwell drive. It's important that in order to recover files from one drive to another, you have to be on a bootwell drive to do it. So you would click on it over here and you could pick whatever drive you want and you can start to make that a bootwell drive, which is kind of cool. So I'm not going to do that right now, but that's how easy it is to work. Once you have the bootwell drive, you click start recovering, you select the drive you want to recover, you would hit next. Then you could do a quick quick scan, a deep scan, or deleted files. So if you actually deleted files in your trash, you could actually recover them, or you can do a clone. So if I did a quick scan and I hit start, it's going to say, if, is it Mac format? Here it is. And then when you find uh, the file, let's say that you were interested in recovering, you would just hit recover. And then it would ask you where do you want to put it. And you could pick whatever file or folder you wanted to do. So that's pretty much uh, how that works. So it's a great utility to recover uh, any files that are on a disk that may not be mounting. So that's uh, called Data Rescue. And it's by the same company that makes Drive Genius. So I kind of like those utilities. They're pretty good. Checkmate is made uh, by the same company that does Tech Tool. So let's take a look at what Checkmate does first. So Checkmate kind of watches your system 
and make sure that everything is well. Uh, but if it has to repair something, it's probably going to advise you to go to Tech Tool, which is um, the same company. And if you go into Tech Tool, it's a pretty cool utility. It's been around for a really long time, and it does all these cool things. Uh, it has an area called Tools, which will give you a volume rebuild, and you can pick whichever volume you want. So let's say I did the data rescue, and I said volume rebuild. I put in my thing, and it would go through uh, the whole thing. You can also do volume optimization, volume cloning, again, to clone one drive to another. So if you know that your drive is about to fail and you want to quickly make a backup, this is the way you would do a backup. It also has a data recovery where it can recover specific things. It could do a search for, starts with, whole words, ends with, and it can figure out where, where do you want to pull it out from the trash. You could even um, have a trash history as well. So there's a lot of features. Tech Tool has a great name in uh, the Mac world. Uh, it's a pretty good uh, application and I'd highly recommend it. I've been using it for years. Uh, it also is a way to actually get a drive back up and running. You know, this is how it can wipe the data. So if you need a security uh, delete from a volume, why would this be important? Well, hey, if you're selling your laptop on eBay, you really don't want to have a drive internally that has anything uh, that could be recovered in the same ways that I'm showing you today. Uh, this is another great thing to enable or disable file system journaling. A lot of times you cannot uh, get the journaling, um, what do you call it, on a computer, on a drive that's already been initialized. So this is interesting as well. Um, disk permission configurations, uh, it can perform some things on that, and it can look for local, uh, what do you call it, uh, local network configurations, etc. It even can monitor video and it can also monitor audio. And so it has different permissions to do different things. That's in the tools area. This is in the test area. It can do a memory test. You can run a memory test and uh, you put in your password and it would start running a memory test and it would look at your RAM. So this is kind of cool if you're concerned that your RAM is not acting properly and you just want to test it, you can run all these hardware tests. There's a surface scan, there's a volume structure scan, and there's a video memory and even file structures. And I have to tell you, it's really a great application. I love it. It's really easy to use. However, that being said, and we can let that continue to run. Uh, let me see if I could stop it. Let me just stop it. Right here, you just click that to stop it. Now, um, there is another application. It's called Disk Warrior. Now, Disk Warrior, there you go. We have the pass and fail of that, so obviously it's OK. Um, the Disk Warrior is actually the number one thing recommended by Mac techs that actually fix computers out there. So uh, the way Disk Warrior works, it's very simple. Uh, you just hit Rebuild. For the directory, if you look for files, you hit start, you could repair permissions. If you want to look at the hardware, you can test the device. You could do automatic uh, diagnostics on it, or you can manually do it. Um, for some reason, Disk Warrior has a really good reputation with Mac techs. Uh, they like it. They think it's their favorite application out there. Uh, be, maybe because it's simple and easy to use, uh, and maybe because they've had a lot of success with it. Uh, but it's pretty simple. Like I said, you just open it up, and you hit Rebuild, and you can pick uh, which particular hard drive you want there. It's really straightforward. Here's the different drives that you have. And that's it. So it's a very simple application to use, and uh, it's also recommended, Disk Warrior. So any one of these are great. However, I'm going to decide that my favorite application to recover lost files off of hard drives will be File Salvage. Now, File Salvage is a very interesting application because it's not really that expensive. I mean, it's not cheap. It's not expensive. I think it's about uh, $89. But I've had such success at recovering files with this particular software, I don't. I've never seen anything recover things the way File Salvage has recovered them. Uh, and you don't have to have anything preloaded. You could have this application sitting on your computer, and let's say you, your friend comes over and says, uh, "This hard drive, you know, is is crashed. I can't get it to mount. I can't get it to do anything. I had a bunch of files on it." You could plug in that hard drive into your computer and uh, open up File Salvage, 
and if it comes up here as you can see it even shows hidden partitions that I don't even see on my desktop this is the recovery partition I think from Apple and what it will do is you'll if, if it shows up over here you'll just hit recover and at this point it'll do a scan and if it finds anything like here it found these files and let's say I wanted to pick uh, this file all I would hit is recover and it would be done I have done this on many occasions where the drive has been completely a mess even the utilities like tech tool and all these other uh, drive repair things could not fix the drive but this particular um, application actually recovered all of the files on the disk even though it wasn't mounted and I think I amazed a lot of techs with it I'm saying have you tried this it's made by Subasoft and I'll put the link to it in there if you're really stuck you really want to recover your own files and you're willing to make an investment you'll buy this once and you'll use it and basically it'll be your lifesaver so it's this is one of those applications that I actually always spend money on because I know when all else fails this will work and if this doesn't work then you're probably your drive is in a pretty bad state and needs uh, a more professional service to take a look at it but I highly recommend it again it's called file salvage and uh, it's made by Subasoft and that's pretty much uh, what it is so here are all again the utilities we talked about drive genius data rescue checkmate tech tool pro uh, disk warrior and file salvage file salvage great for you know recovering files on a damaged disk disk warrior to repair a disk probably number one tech tool kind of an overall health of the system checkmate along with tech tool pro to watch your system and data rescue to clone a drive and drive genius to basically run diagnostics and do a whole bunch of other things so I hope you like this video I hope you got some information remember don't wait till the last minute to make a boot disk do it today if you're not doing anything it doesn't take too too long to just pop it in and create a boot disk I'm going to leave a little link in the video uh, on the comments area to the video that shows you how to make a boot disk with uh, disk maker X it's fantastic go ahead and do it it's easy and you'll thank me if you ever have a hard drive crash so hopefully you're gonna have a great weekend I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend and there you can see the drive pulse is monitoring uh, my space on my computer telling me I should consider removing some files that's how uh, that runs and as you recall uh, that was in drive genius so thanks so much for listening and hope you have a great holiday weekend